Um, I'm going to begin, guys, by just uh, asking. I mean, animations require such a sort of labour of love and can take a sort of such a number of years to kind of uh, to make. When you finally get to this stage where you're ready to release it to the world, it must be so rewarding. It is, and it, it's great that it seems that everyone leaves the theatre very happy. And that makes me happy. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you work so hard, so closely with everyone, and it's so nice to finally get to share it with everyone. And that's why we make these movies. I mean, we we make it for the audience. I make it to watch privately in my uh, closet, <laughs> in my dark closet. He doesn't at even home, have but... a TV at home, so I don't know how he does that. Because <laughs> I mean, the trolls are so happy. Obviously, that's the whole point to this. I mean, I mean when you're dealing with kind of uh, protagonists that are that kind of, um, it's infectious and quite contagious how sort of happy they are. That must rub off on, on all of you when you're kind of making the movie. There must be quite a happy sort of shoot, I guess, when you're when you're dealing with such. It happy definitely yeah. does. Yeah. I was going to say that it, I've never worked with a cast before that was so energetic and so happy, and, and it really comes across in the film. And the, the crew, too. I mean, everyone, the animators and the board artists, the painters, everybody. Exhaustingly was, happy. Everyone was were, so really. happy and positive on the movie that that comes across on the screen. And uh, was it quite difficult to, I mean, it's very intelligently devised in the sense that it's very tongue in cheek. And there's a lot in there for the kind of adults who can kind of almost feel quite um, cynical towards certain moments. But those same moments, the singing and dancing and what kids are going to love from this. It must be, <laughs> right. was that, to get that kind of balance right where you can kind of one same scene can get can inspire the kind of cynicism in an adult and yeah. kind of end the joy in a kid well i think that's uh that's the combo platter you have here walt is a very positive person yeah. i'm a very negative person well that's what it always we designed poppy it and i'm branch and we designed it in a way where you know there's the singing and the dancing and that's all great with poppy and the trolls but if that, if you're not into that as an audience member then you have branch who's looking at all and going this is ridiculous so it's like we always have kind of, kind of those in. contrasting point of view is going on and then also from just us working on the, the, all the other films that we've worked on, we love to do those jokes where uh, like a father is laughing at some some joke and he looks down at his daughter, his eight-year-old daughter, and she's laughing at the same thing. Yeah. But it's something that's For different re reasons, maybe, we say. <laughs> we don't know. Yeah. But I mean, so it's essential, I guess, that we do adopt the kind of cynical perspective of, of, of Branch there in this movie. I think there are some audience members who do. I do. But, I then, but, then, <laughs> but then what's nice is, much like Branch, they're transformed by the yeah. time you get to the end of the film. And you're, you know, whether you want to admit it or not, a little tear. Yeah. You know. Well, yeah. also, even the most cynical people that go to this movie, they can't help. And it's kind of the way our music is designed, too. They can't help but start nodding their heads and tapping their foot, <laughs> even the most cynical person, because it, it is like really great music in this thing. And then like, they come out and they're wearing a glitter lipstick. Glitter Sorry. lipstick, okay, like so yourself. You transformed yeah. you. <laughs> and I mean, Justin had to write a song, obviously, which really captures the tone of this movie, and he did that remarkably. I mean, that song is Perfectly. so yeah. uplifting, and and it's kind of, and it's also just a great pop song at the yeah. same time. You must, when you first kind of heard that, you must have just been like, yes, that's. It, that's we did what, instantly, yeah. and it, it was very strange because it was a long time ago that he made this for the film. That he made mm -hmm. the song for the film, and. I think he said, yeah, and I'll just make it a hit song as well. And I laughed. I was like, yeah, why don't you do that? And yeah. lo and behold. It's everywhere now. It's everywhere yeah. now. It's very strange. Yeah, I mean, it was incredible hearing that for the first time. Yeah. yeah. It was exactly what we wanted for this and then film. Some. And then yeah. some. Yeah. So Even more you, than what we wanted, isn't it? So did you hear it quite early then? Because, I mean, did that also help to craft and almost inform your own kind of the, the way you perceive the, the story as well? Did it help you kind of get a sense of the it tone? Did. It, helped, it helped define how, because it's such a big part of the end of the film and what happens so integrated into that story. So it was a lot of kind of back and forth with us and how we told that story through the song. Yeah, we, it, we really needed that song to, to wrap up the story, which, which it did beautifully. And the only thing we held back on, from what I remember, is choreography. We waited for the song. Mm -hmm. And then we did all the choreography to it, which was yeah. just brought it to a whole different level, which was strange. And be honest, if Justin had said, right, I've written a song and it was really bad, which one of you have told him the truth? <laughs> uh, it's, he can't, though. It's, 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 he can't it's do it. It's impossible for do Justin it. To, yeah. uh, to write something. It's part of his DNA that he just does these amazing songs. <laughs> that would have been songs. funny, though, if it was like a, just a dirge, you yeah. know, yeah. that he presented to us. Like, you what would we have Mike. done? I'm not going to say it. Uh, let's just use it. Yeah, he can't do it. He can't do it. <laughs> Um, no, I, I'm pro Bergen, by the way. Because Great. I, yeah, I'm a big fan of the Bergens. Um, I like those guys too. Yeah, was it quite a challenge to craft a film where we do actually fear them as an antagonist, and at the same time we do like them as well? They're very kind of endearing. They've got, there's something very kind of enjoyable about them. It was a strange yeah. balance, but I think we get there with uh, Bridget. Was always uh, Zoe Deschanel's character was always a character that um, uh, we embraced early on in the storytelling. And I think she's your way in to, to the Bergens. Yeah, I think do the Bergens, have a heart. Well, we always talk about, even with Jeffrey, we talked about that the villain should be 
we should be empathetic a little bit for the villain. We should well, you un- got to be able to relate. We to should the under- We should understand what they want. So there's always a little empathy. Plus, they're so wacky and weird. These Bergens, it's hard not to like them. They just want to be happy. That's all That's they it. want. Isn't that what we want? Yeah, they're just a little misguided. They just look for it externally by accident. <laughs> yeah. I was just very quickly before I go, I was just wondering, we often see with animations, they're often directed by two people. Mm-hmm. I was wondering what are the kind of benefits of that and why do you think it is with this particular kind of uh, genre that it does take sometimes two minds to bring it Well, together. Walt and I, we uh, worked together in a different capacity on the Shrek, the last Shrek film. And then we both went away and worked and did different stuff. And when we got back together, Walt, um, it's so handy on this one. Walt is such a great performer, and in fact, that was his one of his on the last Shrek film. He portrayed the villain, and so on this one, it was just nice to have him not only as a character to play around with the actors, but um, keep but, you uh, honest. Keep me honest. It's, <laughs> well, it's nice yin, to be able yin. to kind of uh, throw jokes back and forth with each other, and plus, someone can eat lunch while the other guy <laughs> tells the people to do it better. <laughs> Wait, handy. which one's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. I'll let you argue about that. Thanks. Thank you. Nice Thanks. to meet you. Arguing. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.